Hey everybody, it's Amr Zahir. That's Amr Zahir for Israeli immigration. As Israel nears the annexation of parts of the West Bank, it's important to understand this the way we Palestinians understand what Israel did to us back in 1948. They stole our land. And what have they been doing since? They've been stealing our land. And what are they doing now? They're still stealing our land. But I also remember something my mom, and I'm sure a lot of Palestinian moms, say all the time. And that is, mefrushi, which means they took it furnished, fully furnished. You know how like you rent a furnished apartment? Yeah, that's what they did. Say it with me, learn a little Arabic. mefrushi, Furnished, fully furnished. You see, Israel says they entered a land without a people for a people without a land. This is, of course, to use a technical term, bullshit. My dad's parents were both teachers. My mom's dad was an agricultural engineer and specialist. Tens of thousands of forcibly exiled Palestinians were artists, professors, intellectuals, merchants, entrepreneurs, artisans, and so much more. Israel didn't just kick out a people. They kicked out and tried to erase an entire civilization. A civilization that had built harbors, roads, apartment buildings, railways, and yes, even an airport. In fact, do you know why Ben Gurion Airport is where it is? Because we already had an airport there. Then, of course, Israel used all of those things when it declared its independence. You know why? Achaduha mefrushi. Actually, they're still living in our houses. Like, Literally. You know how white girls say literally and it wasn't literally? I was literally gonna die. No, you weren't. But they are literally still living in our grandparents' houses. Like actually, for real, not figuratively, verbatim, literally. You know why? Echaduha mefrushi. Fully furnished. Actually, we still see it today. Gal Gadot showed us when she was asked to share some Hebrew words. And can you teach me some Hebrew? Sure. Uh, Let's do it. Can you say sababa? Sababa. Nice. Yeah, sababa is cool. Cool. Awesome. Sababa is an Arabic word. We used it before they used it, just like the land. But could Gal make it worse? And what else? Uh, say yalla. It's a really yalla. easy one. Yeah, it's so like that. in Hebrew and Arabic, it means let's go, let's do it. Yalla is not a word in Hebrew and Arabic. It's a word in Arabic, only Arabic. Yes, the land of Palestine was fully furnished with language too. There was a show on Showtime called Homeland. It's about the CIA's adventures around the world. In one episode, they were chasing a terrorist mastermind in Beirut. I was shocked that the Lebanese government allowed an American TV show about chasing terrorists to film in Beirut until... We shot the assassination attempt of Abu Nuzir in the city of Haifa in Israel. It's on the Mediterranean, similar to Beirut. They were able to transform the city to look like Beirut. It was so authentic. It all felt real. Part of going there is the textures of the city, but also the Arabic face. The Arabic face. You know what that means? It means if you call up Israel and say, hey, we need an Arabic looking city. Oh, well, we have a lot of those. Uh, would you like us to send you a brochure? Oh, there's more. Do you love Arabic music? I do. Well, guess what? So do Israelis. <laughs> And then there's the food. Israelis love this spread made of crushed chickpeas, Stop. tahini sauce, lemon, olive oil, salt, and garlic. Stop! Want to eat like a local? Enough. Take a chunk of pita bread I can't, and I can't. wipe the hummus Hello, straight into your mouth. Stop it! The bottom line is this. They stole our land and our stuff. They're still eating our food, singing our songs, and saying our words. You know why? Achaduha mefrushi. Thanks for watching. Sababa? Hilly Antiz!